hi varna here and uh, i'm here today to discuss upon the galactose metabolism let's continue with the galactose metabolism so what is galactose galactose is the fourth epimer of glucose it is an aldohexose and the name gala means milk it constitute of lactose lactose is mainly found in milk it is not essential nutrients since udp glucose can synthesize udp galactose as well so it is not an essential one because our body can synthesize from udp glucose udp galactose is an active donor of galactose during synthetic pro, re, synthetic reactions and the metabolic site is liver importance of galactose galactose is necessary for the synthesis of lactose seen in lactatory mammary glands so galactose is the main constituent in uh, galactose galactose is necessary for the synthesis of uh, galactose necessary for lactate synthesis and lactate is a sugar which is present in the milk so it is mostly seen in the lactating mammary glands udp glucose epimerase to form udp galactose and this udp galactose upon adding with the glucose molecule with the help of lactose synthase enzyme is getting converted into lactose udp glucose getting converted into udp galactose by the epimerase enzyme and that upon adding with a glucose molecule with the help of lactose synthase enzyme is getting converted into lactose udp galactose with a glucose molecule is getting converted into lactose UDP galactose serves as a donor for lactose in synthetic reaction and in synthesis of glycosaminoglycans for the synthesis of cerebrocytes then for the synthesis of glycolipids and also for the synthesis of glycoproteins so all these synthesis like uh, cerebrocytes glycolipids glycoproteins all this has require UDP galactose so this is why galactose is important in our body for the synthesis of all these glycosaminoglycan cerebrocytes glycoproteins and glycolipids reaction of metabolism phosphorylation of galactose to galactose 1 phosphate by the enzyme galactokinase by using an atp as a phosphate donor so first reaction is phosphorylation and the phosphate donor is atp by utilizing atp the uh, galactose one phosphate is formed from galactose galactose getting converted into galactose one phosphate by the enzyme galactokinase by utilizing atp galactose one phosphate reacts with udp glucose to form udp galactose and glucose one phosphate it is catalyzed by galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase enzyme in the next step galactose one phosphate reacting upon udp glucose to form udp galactose and glucose one phosphate and the enzyme here is galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase in this reaction galactose displaces a glucose of udp glucose galactose metabolism it is getting converted into galactose one phosphate by the enzyme galactokinase first galactose to galactose one phosphate by utilizing atp and galactokinase enzyme getting converted to galactose one phosphate then that upon the action of galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase enzyme it is getting converted into glucose one phosphate and udp galactose this udp galactose can again be converted back to udp glucose by udp galactose for epimerase enzyme and this udp glucose can enter into glycogenesis synthesis of glycogen the enzyme defect in galactosemia an enzyme condition uh, an enzyme defective condition called as galactosemia is due to the deficiency of galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase that is the enzyme which is defect in 
galactosemia. So, galactose metabolism starts with galactokinase by utilizing ATP getting converted into galactose 1-phosphate that upon by the enzyme galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase is getting converted into glucose 1-phosphate and UDP galactose which in turn get can be converted back to UDP glucose by the UDP galactose 4 epimerase. The conversion of UDP galactose to UDP glucose is catalyzed by UDP galactose 4 epimerase. Finally, glucose is liberated from UDP glucose via formation of glycogen by glycogenesis formed by glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycogen. Glycogenesis is synthesis of glycogen, glycogenolysis is breakdown of glycogen. Galactosemia that is the def defect in the enzyme galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase enzyme is defect in galactosemia. It is an inborn error of metabolism which is incident in 1 in 35,000 of birth. It is due to the block of this enzyme galactose phosphate will be uh, accumulating in the liver. Galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase that is the enzyme which is defect and due to its defect galactose phosphate is getting accumulated in the liver. This will inhibit back the galactokinase as well as glycogen phosphorylase which can lead to hypoglycemia as a result. So, there is accumulation of galactose 1 phosphate and that is inhibiting galactokinase enzyme and glycogen phosphorylase enzyme. Other clinical findings of galactosemia that is bilirubin uptake is less and bilirubin conjugation is reduced. So, unconjugated bilirubin level will be increased in the blood jaundice, bilirubin high means jaundice, enlargement of liver and jaundice. Then there will be severe mental retardation and free galactose accumulation that is called as galactosemia, galactose accumulation leading to galactosemia and this is partially excreted in urine galactose urea. Since there is accumulation of galactose it is partially excreted through urine leading to galactose urea. This is the figure which you have to remember when galactosemia is asked all the clinical findings is included that is it is leading to brain damage, cataract, jaundice, enlargement of liver, kidney damage. In if a galactosemic infant is given milk, unmetabolized milk sugar build up on the damage of liver, eyes, kidney and the brain. Galactose is reduced to, galactose is reduced to ductitol and the accumulation of ductitol in the lengths result in cataract due to its osmotic, osmotic effect. The accumulation of ductitol lead to cataract due to osmotic effect. This is condition is called as congenital cataract. So, one of the main feature is congenital cataract due to the conversion of galactose excess, excess uh, galactose is reduced to ductol and uh, that is getting accumulated in the lens. Galactose 1 phosphate may be deposited in the renal tubules producing tubular damage leading to aminoesturia. So, galactose 1 phosphate is also accumulating on the renal tubules leading to renal damage and aminoesturia. Diagnosis clinical manifestation including congenital cataract, presence of galactose in urine, elevated blood galactose level, then collection of fatal uh, cells by aminosynthesis may be useful in prenatal diagnosis, prenatal before birth we can diagnose this diseases by aminosynthesis, Amin amniotic fluid is collected and it is examined to see any fatal cells. Then heterozygous parents could be detected by the elevated galactose level in blood after a galactose load. Treatment for galactosemia that is lactose free diet, milk should be avoided, lactose is seen in milk. Hence early detection is more important to prevent the mental retardations. This mental retardation is not reversible, so 
it should be early detection so that we can give a lactose free diet for the patient. Special diets may be, may be withdraw after 4 years when galactose 1 phosphate phosphorylase becomes active. So afterwards maybe after 4 years if this uh, enzyme becoming active then a special diet can be introduced for the patient. Okay, thank you.